What are the best ways to declutter maps? Imagine trying to find your way through a map that looks like a jumbled mess of symbols and colors. It can be frustrating and confusing. That's why decluttering maps is so important. When maps are clear and easy to read, they help us understand geographic information better. So, how do we make maps less cluttered and more useful? Let's break it down. First, filtering irrelevant data is key. Remove or hide points of interest or features that don't matter for your map's purpose. For example, if you're showing only major highways, hide small roads and minor landmarks. This reduces visual noise and makes the main features stand out. Many mapping tools let you do this automatically or manually, so you can focus on what really matters. Next, generalization and aggregation help simplify dense areas. Instead of showing every single building or tree, group nearby points into clusters or use larger symbols. This is especially useful in urban areas where many features overlap. It keeps the map from looking overcrowded and helps viewers see overall patterns more easily. Proper labeling is also important. Overlapping labels can make a map hard to read. Use automated label placement tools in geographic information system software to keep labels clear and spaced out. Choose font sizes that are easy to read but not overwhelming. Well-managed labels guide the viewers I without creating clutter. White space or empty space around map elements is another simple trick. It gives the map room to breathe. Add margins around key features and avoid crowding symbols too close together. This makes it easier for users to focus on important parts of the map without feeling overwhelmed. Creating a visual hierarchy is also helpful. Use color, size, and brightness to highlight the most important features. For example, major roads can be bold and bright, while minor roads are lighter. This contrast directs attention and reduces confusion. Balancing the distribution of symbols and labels across the map prevents overcrowding in one area. Use spatial analysis tools to identify crowded zones and move or remove secondary features. Spreading out information evenly makes the map more comfortable to look at. Defining clear boundaries between different regions with subtle background colors or lines helps users distinguish areas without adding too much graphic weight. It creates a sense of organization and simplifies the map's overall look. For digital maps, interactive features are a game changer. Allow users to zoom in and out to see more details when needed. Use clustering techniques that combine points when zoomed out and expand them when zoomed in. This keeps the map clean at all scales. In specialized applications like radar mapping, Clutter maps can identify stationary objects like buildings and subtract them from the display. This clears the view of irrelevant signals and highlights moving or relevant targets. By combining these methods, filtering data, generalizing features, managing labels, using white space, establishing visual hierarchy, balancing distribution, defining clear boundaries, and adding interactivity, you can turn a cluttered map into a clear, effective tool. These steps help users quickly grasp geographic information without feeling overwhelmed, making your maps more functional and easier to understand.